Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Pathmon. In today's video, what we'll be doing is showing you how to display text in, in Pygame. And we're going to do this by adding a game over screen. So once our character comes into contact with our zombie, which we've in, implemented in our collision detection video, then we're going to say, show them a game over screen saying game over or you died or something along those lines. So let's dive right in. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to import the time library. And we're going to use this to show them the text for a certain amount of time, for a certain number of seconds, before we actually quit Pygame and end our game. So that's all we need to do here. And the next thing we need to do is we actually need a function that's going to show the message we want to display. So we'll just call this function, we'll just call it game over text, but you can call it whatever you want. And so we need to get a font. So I'm going to use a, this font called Decay, which I think is a really nice looking font for the theme of the game. But you can feel free to download whatever font you want to use. I will include a link to this font in the description of this video. So we'll call this Decay font. And we'll set that equal to, that should be equal sign. We'll set that equal to Pygame dot font lowercase f dot font uppercase f. And then we're going to put in the path to our font. So I would recommend you put your TTF file, which you can download from the link in the description, in the same directory as your code, so you don't actually worry about the path. And that's what I did, so I can just do decay-m5 rb.ttf, which is the name of the font. And we're gonna have to give it a font size. I'm just gonna do 36, but you can play around with that number and change it to whatever you want. All right, so we're going to need a surface to display our text to. So we'll call this, we'll call this text underscore surface. And we'll set that equal to our decay font. And we'll render. And here we're going to put in the text that we want the user to see. So we'll just say you died. The next argument will set that equal to true. And here we have to put in the RGB value uh, for the color of our font. So you know this is a zombie game, so I want it to be in a pretty intense color. So I'll just do red 255, green 0, blue 0. So it's just going to be an intense red color. The next thing we need to do is actually add this text to our screen. So we'll do display, or game display is what I call it. That flip, which remember just write something to the screen. We're going to add that text surface. And here we actually need to add a tuple with the coordinates of where we want to add it. So I'm just going to do the x goes first. So I'll do width divided by 4 and height divided by 2. So I just played around with these numbers and this is sort of what I came up with. But once again, you can add it anywhere you want on your screen. And then that is all we need for the game over function. So the last thing we need to do is actually just call this function and then we'll use the time library to sleep on the, the game over screen for several seconds. So we're going to scroll down to this if statement. If a collision has occurred, then we're going to want to call our game over text function. And then we're going to set dead equal to true. But the problem with this is this will only show the game over screen for a split second and then it'll go away very quickly. So what we need to do is before we quit Pi game, we need to use our time library and call the sleep function, which just sort of pauses your code execution. So this will just pause the execution. Uh, we'll set it to three seconds, but you can set it to equal to whatever you want. All right, so now we can run our game. And when we collide with the zombie, you'll see it displays our text for three seconds, and then Pi game will quit. So you collide with the zombie, it says you died. And then after three seconds, the game quits. So I just want to thank you all for watching. And as always, then feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. As well as like us on Instagram and Twitter. We post a lot of good tech tips to our Twitter account. And we post some really good memes to our Instagram account. And be sure to visit piathlon.com. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.